in the fourth turning, I go back to John Bervaki's quote, evolution is revolution with change. So in the first turning, the idea in the cosmology at that time, right, is that we're just looping through samsara over and over, endless rebirth. We're locked into samsara. But the Buddha, what was his realization? Well, he realized something outside of samsara, which he called nirvana. He realized a way of getting out of samsara. So here's an interesting thought. Nirvana actually makes evolution possible. Nirvana is what makes space for the evolutionary paradigm um, because it is something other than constant circularity, constant looping, and constant self-similarity. It's something new. It's a break that allows for change. Evolution is revolution. Revolution is cyclical change, revolving going around and around. Evolution is revolution with change. So when the revolution starts changing, uh, as we start moving through these cycles, these epochs of experience, call them turnings, you know, every day we wake up, new morning, we like, we don't go, oh, it's a new turning, but it is, it's a new turning. Uh, these epochs, every, every cycle, when there's change, we evolve, we actually become something new, even though we're not something stable or solid, right? So the fourth turning is about recognizing that there's an evolutionary process occurring and that awakening is inherently evolutionary.